some people think that I might have lost the opportunity to get a Nobel Prize by, by coming to Taiwan because I couldn't do science as, as well as I could do at, uh, at Caltech. But it turned out that wasn't the case. I could do science just as well here. I uh, don't think I got the uh, presidential prize because of this work alone. I think they uh, gave me the prize on the basis of my uh, overall contribution over 60 years. Lianjie brought me here to do something and I just did it, that's all. Well, I got people started to do science according to genomics, proteomics and bioinformatics. The old days, Taiwan had its own standards, all right. Uh, but now, you know, uh, my job was to make it to an uh, internationally uh, ranked institution. Uh, that I, I think I succeeded to some extent. I sowed the seeds, all right, and the seeds uh, doesn't have to, you know, um, have to become flowers, all right. Uh, but now we have flowers, not so bad. Uh, I grew up in the Chinatown ghetto, Grant Avenue in, in San Francisco. My parents worked you know, 16 hour days, all right, uh, and uh, I was by myself most of the time. And I tried to help uh, to bring up you know, my brothers and sisters, because my parents worked so much. So much. My parents uh, didn't have any education, absolutely none, in fact. My father went to the U.S. in the 19, 1915, 1920, and he learned to read the Chinese newspaper then, and, uh, and he didn't know much English. And my mother went to the U.S. in 1936, and she didn't know any uh, she, didn't, she did not uh, write, read or write at all. My parents uh, wanted me to get an education because he, they felt that that was the only way for me all right, uh, to get out of the poverty. I did not actually develop the motivation until I went to Berkeley as, a, as, a, as an undergraduate student. Uh, then I became motivated. There's something I want. Uh, chemistry is a very white uh, science. Everybody's white you know, or Jewish. And my first challenge was to realize that no matter how hard I worked, no matter how well I did, there was a glass ceiling up which I could not go above. And I also discovered I was paid at a much different scale compared with my white colleagues. All right. And I could fight it, but I chose not to. All right, I chose to not worry about this and ignore it and uh, focus on education and training graduate students. Some people think that I might have lost the opportunity to get a Nobel Prize by, by coming to Taiwan because I couldn't do science as, as well as I could do at, uh, at Caltech, but it turned out that wasn't the case. I could do science just as well here, all right? Last Thursday, somebody asked me whether I would predict that all this. I said, no, I mean, I, 20 years ago when I came to Caltech, I came to Zhongnanyan, I did not know how it was going to end. I was 62 already, so I said, well, I do a few more years of science, I will retire. <laughs> that was what I was thinking. I mean, how do I know I was going to be uh, as lucky as I was in, all right, in particularly solving the methane oxidation problem? And of course, 20 years ago, there was no idea that 
you could have this artificial catalyst to convert methane to methane. No, either. Nobody cared about methane in those days. If you talk about climate change, it was uh, Freon, it was CO2 later, right? Methane was not a part of the equation until more recently. Now people worry about methane, but not in those days, right? So as I said, you have to be the right place at the right time. Right? Now what do you call that? I don't know. It's just luck, I think.